and you know, just uh, to think about algorithms again, I think we all have our own algorithm. Um, and I think this is something that needs to continue to be systematized. But, you know, I think broadly, of course, I think about, you know, am I treating a stenosis or an occlusion? We have very different goals in those cases. If it's, if it's a stenosis, the goal, of course, is wire control and avoiding dissection. And I think some good options here include using uh, any of the command uh, wires. I also will use the 014 run through in some of these cases. Uh, occlusions, uh, of course, the goal here is are we going to stay true lumen or sub minimal? I think if it's feasible, true lumen is generally always a preferred strategy. Uh, one algorithm I use that I showed here includes the use of some coronary wires, including the Fielder XT, Pilot 200, and Confianza Pro 12 with a wire escalation approach. And then some O and 8 wires with wire escalation with the Treasure 12, Gladius, Halberd, and Estado 30. And then from a sub minimal approach, I think we've discussed uh, the value of the uh, command wires uh, in these cases because of the nice tight loop that they can form and some of the cutting that they'll do in the sub minimal plane. Uh, the V18 is an option, although I think that the command 18 does a better job of maintaining its tip shape over time. And then the Trumo M wire uh, does also make a nice uh, tight loop as well and can be useful sometimes in sub minimal uh, planes. So this is just a, a group of wires that I tend to use on a regular basis. I think we each have our own algorithms. But I think it speaks to the complexity of a lot of these lesions and trying to obtain both the initial crossing, but the best possible subsequent angioplasty result as well.